Good day, friends. It's Wednesday, and I'm feeling quite uh, feeling quite good about this because sticking the second set of blades on, and I also changed the gear over to the larger one, so we are getting a good overdrive. And it seems to be running. It's about 12 to 13 mile an hour winds, but it seems to be running very well. Considering it's in the high gear, so the motor's travelling uh, 1.6 times faster than the blades. But it's worth noting, I did spend more time than usual setting the placement of the motor up correctly. What it needs, it needs, when the motor goes in, it needs to set up some kind of system where it goes in one exact place. Uh, it's hard to explain when it's up there, but I think the time spent trying to make sure it's properly aligned will definitely pay off. Uh, obviously, this, the having another set of blades on, obviously a lot of people will think that's stupid. But, in these kind of conditions, I think it's perfect. With regards to maximum power output, that will probably be less. Uh, but I think it'll make good power, you know, a few hundred watts a lot more often than it'll make nothing. So it's connected to a 24 volt battery at the moment, so we will go and see what the meter's saying, even though I'm not sure it's going to be hitting that, we'll go see. Wind's just died off a minute. So, uh, I think I said in the last video, I sorted out the bolts on the back of the tail, so that's nice and solid now. Doesn't look like it's going to hit 24 volts. So I know you're seeing 50 volts and it doesn't really mean that much, but it'll definitely be interesting when we get a bit of wind. I don't think it's going to hit much more than 100 watts in this wind, so uh, it's only about 12 mile an hour. It's saying if it gets any windier, I'll make another video later, but it's looking pretty good at the minute, to be honest with you. And if we do get a lot of wind, I'll get this connected up, the 24 volt dump load. To the batteries and what will happen is this should start to get nice and hot this is obviously kind of an experiment it's a bucket of sand but eventually if it, if it works well it could get would obviously need to get replaced with a metal bucket and then there's nothing to stop putting a copper coil inside that's a bit more like it Anyway, yeah, so it would be very cool to have a metal one with a copper coil inside and then you could run water through it. Because when that's taking 24 volts, it'll be using about 250 watts and this, the sand will keep the heat in really nicely and we can see how warm it's gonna get. But yeah, it's def I'm feeling uh, positive about how it's working and I'll see you soon, cheers.